Kufukua rasmi Jengo Aya Kidogo tutulie Kidogo tutulie We proclaim the seventh loss. Safeguard our life. So we depend upon God to safeguard our life. So those are the programs that we have as a government. We want to sort out roads, we want to sort out water, we want to sort out electricity, we want to empower our women, we want to empower our youth. That is the agenda that we have for this region. In the Ministry of ICT, which I head, we are going to set up a digital hub in each and every ward in this country, and I've been asked by the President to do that. We are going to ensure that in each and every ward, we set up a digital hub. Agenda yetu. Agenda ya Kenya Kwanza. As much as it may have the challenges, our agenda is to revive the economy. Mimi nikisema niseme hapa ati ni toe hesabu ya yale tuliona, ya yale tulipata wakati tulichukua serikali mutashanga. But that shall be for another day. Because the debt levels, the debt margin, fida ambayo tulipata, Shimambai Kopale. I can tell you it is a very serious matter. Now, to talk about Kwashimo, we must stop digging. And to stop digging, we will have to go through some difficulty because we have to stop digging and be able to revive the economy. And I appreciate the young people who are speaking. It's a tight moment, it's a difficult moment. It's a difficult moment, no doubt about it. But I can assure you that we shall not abandon the good cause and we shall not deviate from focusing on what is required. Atu kiwa mugonjwa, you must take the medicine. And some of the medicine sometimes is bitter. Sometimes it's painful. But if we have to heal, if we have to recover from the illness, we shall have moments when we swallow that bitter pill. But Kenya shall stand, Kenya shall be united, and we shall all succeed. Wakati tulichukua serikali, mimi nilikuwa mmoja wa kwanza kuwambia kwamba tutakuwa na shida. Nilisema hivo. Nilisema kwamba Mimi kama moja ambaya likuwa Minister for Finance katika taifa letu la Kenya. Nilikuwa nimeona esabu ya taifa letu na nikajua kwamba kuna madeni mazito na shida na shida itakuja na hiyo shida kulipa itatuumiza sisi what. I said this and I repeat it here and I say there is no walk in the park. Tutaumia, lakini we shall succeed. There is hope at the end of the road. Hiyo sawa sawa. And I like this debate. I like the debate. Because it, is, it means that we are all alive to what is happening. And I can tell you that we are going to work through the difficult times and you will see the difference. This, again, nasema muniangalia vizuri, you shall see it. Nataka tujue kwamba tunahitaji security, tunahitaji umoja, tunahitaji watu wetu wakae kwa amani. Mimi nataka niwambie Kenya pia inahusika sana kuleta amani katika mataifa jirani. Tuko na shida Sudan. Tuko na shida South Sudan. Tuko na shida ambayo inatokea katika eneo hizi zote. 
and we need to be united so that we can tackle these issues kwa mambo ya diplomasia kwa mambo ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaelekea katika njia iliyo sawa na mimi nawasihi sana viongozi wote kutoka mashinani na hata viongozi wa kidini wakiongozwa na bishop na wengine ambao ni wa dini kwamba as we tackle these issues let us not lose focus that paramount to all we need peace because in war there are no winners in war there are no winners and in peace there are no losers in war there are no winners and in peace there are no losers this is not a small achievement this is a very significant achievement na ndio kwa sababu nilisema ni vizuri niseme haya kwa sababu kubadilisha uchumi ni lazima tuwe na mbinu na strategy na strategy moja ni kuhakikisha kwamba kuna serious trade agreement wakati huu tukizumuza Kenya inazumuza sasa na America na yeye pia ndio chief negotiator kukua kupata ile wanaita strategic trade and investment partnership na United States tunafanya negotiation tunataka tuwe na trade and economic partnerships comprehensive economic partnership agreements na you, gulf countries you, 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 you uae na zengine and this is what is going to transform our economy ikiwa sasa with those agreements tunafungua milango wakulima wetu wafanye biashara wetu na wengine waingize mali yao katika hizo inchi this is significant and it is important that we acknowledge that it is a process